Welcome, first of all, uh, to this extraordinary museum. And uh, I'm old enough to tell you that those skis over there, I was skiing on them. <laughs> well, there were, there were some in the back. Those wooden ones? Yeah. You were on the wooden ones. I, I actually were. Right. I did. Yeah, you probably had wood. I wasn't quite there, but those heads were my first skis right there, those black heads. And uh, I want to start by thanking Meredith, Meredith Scott and the museum team for helping to organize this gathering. Uh, listen, this is an example of what's so great about Vermont's democracy. Obviously, s snowboarding, we are the founders of snowboarding in America. Jake and Donna Carpenter, Burton, this is obviously a Vermont company that we'd be lost without growing jobs and economic opportunities for Vermonters. And we're right here in the center of the stove, an example of why our jobs future is so bright as our mountains continue to expand, become four season resorts, it grows jobs and economic opportunities for all of us. The other great thing about Vermont's democracy is that we get our kids involved early. And back when these Swanton students were in the fifth grade, they started learning about civics from one of their state senators at the time, Don Collins. And Representative Consacio has brought up the team since then. He wasn't in the House in those years. He's not that old. But uh, since then, they've doggedly been trying to pass a bill that I understand passed the Senate some years ago and then was held up in the House for a little while. We'll talk to the Speaker about that. Uh, that does what we will sign today, which is to officially name skiing, snowboarding as Vermont's winter sport. And uh, this is incredibly important to Vermont. It, here's the good news. Although it took these students, uh, it allowed them to grow up from kids to adolescents as they waited for this bill to happen. There's two good stories to this. The first is they learned about how to get something done in a democracy, and they learned that it takes some time, although it takes less time than it does in Washington, D.C., right? Yeah. <laughs> and second, uh, it's a clear example of Vermont leading. There's actually only one other state in the nation who has designated snowboarding and skiing as their winter sport. It happens to be the state of Utah, who we compete with for skiers. So Vermont is second. We beat Colorado with those little puny mountains of theirs. Uh, we beat uh, so many other states. I had a lot of fun out on a national panel recently when I was on a panel with a bunch of governors, including Governor John Hickenlooper. He and I went to college together from Colorado, and fortunately, he went before I did, so he mentioned all the great things about the state, and he never mentioned skiing, and I said, well, I'm glad to follow Governor Hickenlooper because I'm actually from the ski state, the state of Vermont, where we have better skiing, better mountains, and better jobs as a result of it than the little state of Colorado. He wasn't very happy about not being able to respond, but he'd already used his time up. But anyway, here's the point. Uh, Vermont is the ski state. We are the center as I've said so many times, uh, Vermont is the outdoor center of New England. And if you're going to do outdoor sports, whether it's skiing or snowboarding uh, or any of the winter sports, you're going to come to Vermont. We have the best mountains. We have the best food, locally grown food. And we have the best people to greet people coming in to help enjoy our extraordinary community of ski areas. So I, want to, I just want to thank personally the what were fifth graders and now tenth graders at Swanton uh, for their doggedness in making this happen. I want to thank uh, Jake and Donna for their extraordinary invention that was created many years ago, and which really has made snowboarding as much of a winter sport as skiing was when I was a kid. And I want to thank all the people here gathered today to celebrate this moment. Before I sign the bill, I want Jake to say a few words from Burton. I'm going to ask Parker Wheelie to say a few words. Uh, Vermont Ski Association president doing a great job. And uh, I'm going to ask Greg Carpenter, no relation, but Greg Carpenter to uh, say a few words about his students, if that's OK, Greg. And then uh, if the speaker's here, or uh, we have Ricky Restman here, uh, to state center from Royal County, doing a great job from Royal County. Let's give Richie a hand. Come on. might be here shortly. So, Jake, Thank you. great to see you. Take it away. See you. Tough act to follow. I'm not nearly as <laughs> smooth in the Donna. public speaking department. I know Donna is. <laughs> Donna's better at a lot of things. Um, but just to lead it off, in the context of Vermont, I mean, we are so happy that we 
ended up in Vermont. I mean, when I decided to start this company in 1977, I came right up here and the first thing I did was went down to Montpelier and incorporated. Um, and it was just felt so natural and it feels, we feel great about it now and we just love being here. And for all of you guys, congratulations. And it's um, incredible. And uh, you know, when I um, first got exposed to predecessor, I'm not really an inventor, unfortunately, um, nor is Donna, but we got exposed to a product um, called the Snurfer. I did back in, um, at, when I was your age in high school. And from the minute I got on that um, Snurfer, I, it felt that there was an opportunity there and something that I might um, dedicate my life to. And so it's never too early. And uh, this could be a stepping stone for all of you or some of you or any of you to something further in your life. So hold on to those thoughts and dreams. And um, obviously you've had great success so far in getting stuff done. So maybe come down, come by Burton. We're always looking for people to get stuff done. <laughs> Thank you very much. Parker Reilly, come on up. Thank you, President of Bronski Association does a great job, and the only thing he failed at this year was early snow, but we'll forgive him. <laughs> well, thank you, Governor. Thank you all for being here. What a, what a great event to have you at the Ski and Snowboard Museum. And, and just to be uh, part of this uh, ceremony, it's such an honor for me to be with the kids from Swanton who started the ball rolling on this uh, way back when they were in fifth grade with their early research and then brought the bill forward when they were in sixth graders and we joined forces and got skiing and snowboarding through the Senate then. We finally closed the deal this year and in fact it was, re it was in response to the legislature coming to us and saying, you know, how can we help with the season? Obviously it's a season of low snow, you've got snow in the mountains, but how do we get the word out uh, to the folks down country to let them know that we're still uh, alive and well with a full on winter wonderland in the mountains? And we said, well, we've got this great little bill here that's been sitting on the shelf for a while to designate skiing and snowboarding as official state sports. We talked to Shaft Smith about it, he said, let's do it, I thought we already had done it. And uh, we, got, we got it through in record time. I mean, it was the kind of uh, the pace of passage that you don't see until the very end of the session. Two weeks ago, the House passed it. Huge snowstorm that Friday, end of the weekend, the first big snowstorm of the, of the year. Last week, the, last week, the Senate passed it, the second big snowstorm of the year. Governor, the pressure's on. You're going to sign today. But guess what? It's going to snow tomorrow. Winter's back. So we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. And, and with your support, Governor, and with the support of the legislature, uh, on behalf of all the skiers in the state that rely, obviously, on skiing and snowboarding for the livelihood and the livelihood that's dependent upon that and all the communities throughout the state uh, that rely so much on those revenues, all the off-mountain spending, such an important part of our heritage, our way of life, and uh, of our economy, of course, and the historical uh, beginnings of both sports, skiing and snowboarding, have their place here in Vermont like no other state can claim, even though other states are trying to add on these kinds of designations to their, to their, uh, their list. But we truly have the, uh, the winner's mantle on this one. And so thank you all. Thank you, Governor. And uh, looking forward to the next big snowstorm coming tomorrow after you've signed your magic pen today. Thanks. So now we're going to hear from the team from Swamp. And uh, I'm going to ask Representative Consacio to introduce them. And then we're going to hear from Alex Banker and his great teacher, Greg Carpenter. So take it away, team. Thank you very much. Uh, I came here 30 years ago because of the snow. Uh, my first job was a, uh, as a uh, small uh, innkeeper in Jay. And uh, my love for the snow and my love for the state has not changed. Um, I was delighted that uh, people from my community came up with that idea. And uh, um, the credit goes to them. Uh, all I did was to be there. But really, without Ray Carpenter and without uh, Christine Bell, who was their teachers, uh, we wouldn't be here today. So the credit goes to them. Uh, congratulations. I hope that gives you an idea about maybe being in my uh, shoes someday. All right. Thank you. Good work. This is Alex Banker. He was shorter when this initiative started. I'm pretty sure about that, right? Well, uh, not, not a lot, but a little bit. Fifth grade, we'll get a fifth grade shot out. But anyway, well, uh, when we started this bill, we obviously wanted to pass a lot sooner than we did. But it was just a great experience. We learned how legislature works, how to get stuff done. And without the work of Mr. Collins and Mr. Conseil Hill and our teacher, Mrs. Bellrose and Mr. Carpenter, 
this one in Heaven Hospital. So, round of applause for them. Yeah. Yeah. And now we're going to hear. Uh, Greg, you want to go next? Sure. Greg Carpenter. Where are you hiding? Come on out. Greg had hair when they started. That's this right. Season. That's right. <laughs> you can see I, I, I'm happy I'm still here, though. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I just want to share a couple of memories I have about this experience. This was just a wonderful, wonderful experience. These are just wonderful kids. Um, I, I, I just have great memories of this. So I'll just do a few of them. Uh, I'll remember the day that a student approached me and asked me to create an activity that involved Vermont. And uh, Vermont Symbol Tag was born. And as a result of that, we learned that uh, Vermont did not have a state sport. And these kids set out to change that. And uh, I think that was pretty remarkable. Uh, I remember the day we crowded into the principal's office and uh, we were like sardines and we uh, got around the speakerphone and we told the uh, legislative council what we wanted in our bill and I remember the kids giggling a little bit and we were all excited about well, what are we going to say you know we put all this time and research into what we were doing and uh, the one that stands out the most for me would be the day we uh, testified in front of the Senate. I couldn't have been more proud of these kids on that particular day. Um, it made you really value being a teacher and the impact you have in their lives. And that's all I'd like to share. Thanks, Greg. The other half of the extraordinary teaching team, Kristen Dawes. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Um, today, I think, is a celebration of a lot of different things, and I appreciate the comments that you had to say. For me, it's a, um, a celebration of why Vermont's a great place in which to teach. I had the pleasure of working with these students as both fifth and sixth graders as their classroom teacher. And when Greg first approached me about this idea, it was an opportunity to make learning meaningful for kids and to help them to see connections and to take, to collaborate and take the skills that they were learning and apply it towards an idea in which they believed. And so for me, that was the celebration. And I too will never forget the experience of watching them articulate their thoughts and their thinking and their work on the um, floor of the Senate chamber. And that's an opportunity for which I'm very grateful to all the people involved in that. So thank you very much. Thanks for you. Very much. Senator, do you want to add anything? I don't know why you're hiding from us. No, I'm, I'm really happy, happy that you're here in Lamoille County. Anyone else? Are we going to sign this bill and get it done? Yes, all, right. Yes, sign it. all right, enough speeches. <laughs> so listen, this is the great thing about being governor. This will actually become law as soon as we put the John Hancock on here. So come on, crowd around. This is, the moment. This is your moment. This is what we call a. This is what we call a. Come right on, Jake and Donna. Get over. Sorry. Come on in. Come on right up. Okay. Just yet. Yeah. And don't let the camera get in your way. Already? Yeah. Sure. Here we go. Done. Right. What's today? Three. Eight. 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 Twelve. We got it right. Yeah. most expensive pen, but we're going to give this pen to uh, Alex Riven and Curtis. Yeah. All right. All right. All right.